this is Marie Manu Cherry. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing. It is a lovely day here in the Pacific Northwest. I live just outside of Seattle in Washington State in Bothell in my dining room right now as we're making lovely YouTube videos and doing other social media activities. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the second chakra. So I've already made a video that is available below this one on the first chakra and I'm going to keep adding every week a brand new video on all kinds of information regarding energy, medicine, consciousness, awareness, intuition, mediumship, all the things that I do professionally in my career and love enormously. Today, second chakra. The second chakra is a gorgeous orange color. It's just absolutely beautiful. It sits right, <laughs> sorry, it sits right around the belly button area. So that orange blob is the second chakra and right below it is the first chakra or the root chakra, which the video for that is again below this one. I did one uh, last week on the root chakra. The second chakra is such an interesting vortex. I call it the juicy chakra and you can always find more information on energy medicine and the chakra system in the book I wrote, Intuitive Self Healing. It was published by Sounds True. So you can always find more information and homework exercises and a beautiful full body scan at the back of the book. There's a meditation scan so you can listen to your body and heal it. Allow it to be exactly what it was intended to be. Back to this beautiful, gorgeous orange chakra. You can see how big it looks. It's you know, around the belly button area, oh, my drawing might be slightly off of scale. And this particular chakra is the most unique out of all the seven primary chakras because it not only governs your anatomy and physiology, like all of the primary chakras, they govern an exclusive area of your body. This particular chakra governs reproductive organs, kidneys, adrenal glands, the lower back, the appendix, and the bladder. But I also call it the juicy chakra because again, it has this unique representation. It also governs your love life, your money, career, friendships, and any creative outlet that you have. And if you don't have a creative outlet, it's highly recommended that you find one. Whatever, it could be fly fishing, that's a creative outlet. Just throw those little cute puppies back into the water. You don't need to eat them unless you don't have a job right now, then you can eat them, that's perfectly fine. Every single one of the primary chakras also has an emotional component. And when we look at energy medicine, it's the emotional component that is really the most extraordinary factor when enhanced healing progresses exponentially. This particular chakra, its emotional component is joy, happiness, but joy, like that ecstatic, amazing, incredible, happy feeling. What this means is we're meant to be joyful regarding our resources, regarding our love life, our friendships, our career, and our creative outlet. When we take the time to allow that to authentically happen in our life, that also enhances the health and well-being of all the organs that I mentioned earlier. Often, this particular chakra, when I draw it out, I do distance sessions for clients around the world and I always draw out their chakra system and their auric field before we go live on Zoom or the phone or um, whatever the communicating device is. It's rare for me to draw a second chakra that's this lovely, beautiful size, this normal size. Many times I draw them very small, like the size of a pea or an almond, because a lot of people don't rest in this part of their body. There is an extraordinary aspect to the second chakra, not just the fact that it governs your wealth, love, partnership, business and otherwise career and creativity, not just because of that, it also has a very strong relationship to the second layer of the auric field. So I'm just gonna put this down, I'm gonna erase my uh, drawing, and I'm gonna make a drawing of the second layer of the auric field. The aura is this amazing, huge body of energy that literally surrounds you like an eggshell. When we teach about it, or when I teach about it, I always describe it as seven feet so that we can understand the parameters of each layer. There are seven layers in relationship to seven chakras in the physical body. 
in reality, the auric field can, and it really would be in its highest good if it were to expand three city blocks. So that's the healthy, normal size of an auric field. It's a huge body of energy. Each one of the fields is divided, um, well, each one of the fields uh, is represented in a close relationship to the chakra that it's its same number. So I'm gonna draw out the second layer of the auric field, just a, a representation of it. And of course, I'm gonna go ahead and make a little line which would have been the first layer of the auric field. Okay, interesting drawing. So the second layer of the auric field, it's just this space that's right about here around you. I haven't got used to this particular um, media that we're using for YouTube channel. It's mirrored, so I sometimes didn't put my hand in the exact spot, but I'll get better at it. So this is the second layer of the auric field. It's about a foot and a half away from your physical form. It actually has a green colored sky floating in it. And inside the sky, this misty, beautiful green colored sky are clouds that could be shaped in all different kinds of unique sizes. Or if, if, you're, if someone's a very controlled individual or a high perfectionist, their clouds are all going to be kind, kind of perfectly sized and kind of all the same size. The second layer of this auric field is called the emotional response system. All of your real feelings exist on this field. They don't exist in your brain or your heart chakra. Learning to rest into the second chakra close to the belly button will allow you to have access to your true emotions. The real ones that are truly happening, those are your guidance system. They allow you to form the yellow brick road in your life about what really brings you joy. And I will make a beautiful video after I'm done with all the chakras on all the layers of the auric field. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And thank you for subscribing. Bye-bye for now.